Hello everyone and welcome back to Trade Smart, where we test objective rules based strategies and code the best performing ones into trading your trading scripts so you can automate your trading. Previously we received many requests to code our strategies for MetaTrader, but as our primary focus is on trading view, we aren't familiar with the coding language of MetaTrader. However, today we brought you an amazing solution. We are proud to announce our partnership with Pine Connector, a trading automation service that allows you to use all of our trading view scripts on MetaTrader by connecting your script signals to MT5. But that's not all. To make the connection between TradingView and MetaTrader as user-friendly as possible, we've created a brand new TradingView script specifically designed for ease of use. And the best part is that it's 100% free and open source. This is the first time we are sharing one of our TradingView scripts with the full code included. Although this script is a simplified version and doesn't include all the features of our premium scripts, it still contains around 500 lines of code which you can use if you are into coding your own TradingView scripts. In this video I will introduce you to our new open source trading view script called the ATR God and explain how it works. I will also share an optimization that I've made for this script for the Euro USD pair. Lastly I will show you how to connect this script to MetaTrader using Pine Connector. Without further ado, let's get right into it. First, to get access to our new trading view script, I've included a trading view link in the description that will take you to this page. Once you are here, scroll down and click on the Add to Favorites button. Now open up a trading view chart and go to the Indicators tab. Under the My Favorites section, you will find our ATR God script. Once you loaded the script, you can open up Pine Editor and view the full source code of this strategy. Now you might be wondering, why it is called the ATR God? Well, with this script I wanted to showcase the power of the average true range indicator or the ATR. The ATR God strategy utilizes the ATR indicator in every possible way. The entry signal, stop loss and take profit levels are all based on the ATR. Additionally, this script includes a brand new ATR filter that hasn't been used in any of our other scripts. But don't worry, this script is not that plain. We've also included other filters like Trend Filter, Vodatar and customizable options for Stop Loss and Take Profits. So you can modify the strategy according to your preferences. Now let me walk you through the parameters and how this script works. After that we will take a look on the optimization I've made for the ATR God script and finally I will show you how to connect this script to MetaTrader using Pine Connector. Now let me explain how the ATR God strategy works. As I said, the ATR gut strategy focuses on using the ATR as many ways as possible. Therefore, the entry signals are also ATR based. If you don't already know, the super trend indicator is basically an ATR based entry signal indicator. Here you will have four different super trend options. All of them look the same. What makes it unique is that you can use up to four different super trends with different settings as an entry signal. Also, you can use the super trends as trend filters or you can decide not to use just only one. Let's go over them one by one, showing you all the options you can do. Let's say I want to use one super trend indicator as an entry signal indicator. For that, you either have to set the long super trend one to uptrend or unspecified, and the short super trend one to, to downtrend or unspecified. Under those, you can set up the super trend settings, which are the ATR period, the source, and the ATR multiplier. If you want to use the super trend 1 as an entry signal indicator, tick this box next to the super trend 1 can be entry signal. Now I had set up a super trend with a 2 multiplier. Also, this box is ticked and I am plotting the super trend on the chart. Now let's see where the entry signals will be. As you can see here, the super trend printed a buy signal and the strategy entered into a long position on the next candles open. Just like that, here we get a super trend sell signal and the strategy entered into a short on the next candles open. Now let's say I want to use another super trend indicator but as a trend filter. How does that work? To do that, you have to untick the super trend 2 can be entry signal option, tick the plot super trend 2, set the long super trend 2 to uptrend and the short super trend 2 to downtrend. Finally modify these settings as you like. Here I set a super trend with a high multiplier, so basically this acts somewhat like a higher time frame super trend filter. This way the strategy can only enter into a long position if the super trend 1 entry signal was given while the super trend 2 was green colored. Similarly, the strategy now can only enter into a short if we get a super trend 1 entry signal 
and the super trend 2 is in red. Let's see if that's true. Here you can see a super trend 1 entry signal. And if you take a closer look, here is the super trend 2, which is in green color. So this entry is valid. On the other hand, here is a super trend 1 sell signal. But as the super trend 2 is in green, the strategy won't enter into a short position. We design these options to be as modifiable as possible. Let's say I want to do the opposite. To do that, set the long option to downtrend, the short option to uptrend, and URL was set. Now let's wait till it's loaded. And as you can see, now the strategy will only enter if the super trend 1 gives a sell signal and the super trend 2 is in green. Similarly, it will only enter into a long if we get a super trend 1 entry signal, but the super trend 2 is in red. If I want to make the super trend 2 indicator to work as an entry signal 2, you just have to tick this box. Now, if we wait and the script is loaded, you can see that here the super trend 2 indicator gave a long entry signal and the strategy entered into a long position. Okay, finally, let's say I want to use all the four super trend indicators, two short term super trends and two long term super trends. Let's leave the first one at a two value, give the second one a lower value like four, then give the third a higher value like 10, and the fourth an even higher value like 14. Let's say I want to use the higher multiplier super trends as trend filters. To do that, change the long values to uptrend, the short to downtrend, and let's plot those super trends. Finally, make the first two super trends to work as an entry signal. To do that, just tick the super trend 2 can be entry signal box and the first one. Okay, now we are all set. Now the super trend 3 and 4 will work as a trend filter, but they won't give entry signals. But the super trend 1 and 2 can give entry signals too. So, for example, here we can see that the super trend 4 and 3 is in green, the 1 and the 2 is also green, and here we got a long entry signal. And the strategy entered into a long position and profited off of that. If you don't want to use four different super trends, just make sure that the long and the short option are also set to unspecified, and you have unticked the super trend can be entry signal box. Moving on, the next section is the exit strategy. Here you can set up four different stop loss types. You can choose an ATR based stop loss, a candle low high based stop loss, a percentage based stop loss, and a pip based stop loss. And on the bottom you can modify the base risk multiplier and the risk to reward ratio. Let's go over these options one by one. Let's say I want to use an ATR based stop loss. To do that, I have to set up the ATR length and the ATR smoothing to whatever I like. Then I have to give a base risk multiplier value like 4.5 and a risk to reward ratio, for example, 2. Now, here you can see, for example, a short entry. The stop loss will be placed at a 4.5 times ATR distance and the take profit will be at a 1 to 1.5 risk to reward ratio. Simple as that. Let's say I want to use a candle low high base stop loss. To do that, untick the ATR base stop loss and tick the candle low high base one. Now you have to make sure that the base risk multiplier is set to 1 in case you are using either the candle low high base, the percentage based or the pip based stop loss. Here you can see only one option which is the candle look back. If I set this to 10 and we have a long entry signal, it means that the strategy will look back 10 candles and find the lowest point on the chart and place the stop loss right there. The opposite is true for a short position, but let's see how it works. For example, here we can see a short entry signal. The stop loss is placed right here. And if we check back 10 candles before the entry signal, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, you can see that the highest point was right here. So the stop loss is placed right there. For a long position, the opposite is true. So as you can see, here we got a long entry signal. Now let's count back 10 candles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And where is the lowest point out of the 10 candles? Right here. And as you can see, the stop loss is placed right there. Moving on, we have the percentage base stop loss. If you want to use that, just tick the box next to it and untick the candle low high base stop loss. 
With this option, make sure that the base risk is 1. And here again, you have only one option, the percentage. Let's say at every entry, I want to place the stop loss at a 0.2% distance. Now, if I take a look at the chart, you can see that here we got a long entry signal and the stop loss is placed right here. If we take a measure tool and start measuring from the entry level, you can see that this distance is actually a 0.2% distance. Moving on, the last option is the pip based stop loss. Well, this option is good for Forex traders mainly. I never use this for any of my optimizations, but for Forex traders out there, this is probably your go-to. Here you can set how many pips from the entry level the stop loss should be paced. Let's say I want to place it at 100 pips. To do that, type here 100 and make sure that the base risk is 1. As you can see, the strategy placed the stop loss right here. And if we take our measure tool, you can see that it is around 100 pips distance. And as I mentioned earlier on the bottom, you can set up the base risk multiplier and the risk reward ratio. Okay, let's move on to the next option. The next option is the force exiting. This script is mainly focused for Forex traders, and I know that Forex traders love to use force exits. Why? Because holding a position overnight in Forex can lead to higher fees, therefore lowering their overall profits. So, if you want to have a force exit, for example, before midnight, let's say I want to exit every position at 5 pm, I have to set this option to 5 pm. And you don't have to worry about the first option, it doesn't do anything, just make sure that these two values are not equal. So if I want to exit at 5 pm, just tick this box right here, and every open position will be closed at 5 pm. Let's see if we can find an example. Okay, here is an example. When it's a force exit, it will say custom session force exit. As you can see, this candle was a 5 pm candle and the strategy exited this position right on that candle. Here you can set up to 4 force exits. Now I don't want to use any of that, so I just untick this box. Ok, in the next section you have the base setups. Here you can decide if you want to allow only long entries, or only short entries, or you want to allow both entries. Under that you have the position sizing options. Here you can choose from 4 different options. You can choose a cash based, a contracts based or a capital percentage based position sizing. Let's say I want to enter into every position with $1000. To do that choose cash and set the order size to 1000. This way each position entry will be a $1000 position. If you want to enter into every position with a set number of contracts, just choose the contracts and set up how many contracts you want to enter into every position. And finally, if you want to enter into a position with a set percentage of your capital, choose the capital percentage. And for example, if I want to enter with 10% of my capital into each position, just set it to 10. Moving on, we've reached the filters. The first filter which you can see is the ATR limiter, which is the one that we developed specifically for this script. Let's see how it works. To demonstrate it, let's go to the Indicators tab and search for Average True Range. Add this one to the chart. Then choose your favorite moving average. For me, that is the smoothed moving average. This one. And now click on the moving average, start pulling it down and release it onto the ATR indicator. This way the moving average will be displayed on the ATR. Now open up its settings, set its source to the ATR and you are all set. Ok, now let me explain why we developed this filter. First, the one reason is because this is an ATR filter and we wanted this script to be an ATR based script. But secondly, the ATR indicator can tell you how volatile the market is. If you look at the red line, which is the ATR line, in low volatility periods, like this or this, you can see that it is at a very low level. But when the market's volatility is picking up, like here, you can see much bigger candles, the ATR will move up and up. So with this indicator, we can define how volatile we want the market to be if we want to enter into a position. With the filter I showed you before, you can set up low limits, high limits and relation to the moving average. For example, if I don't want to enter into any position if the ATR value is below a 0.0005, 
I can set that up and throughout this period the strategy wouldn't have entered into any position. Also you can put a high limiter, for example if I put it to this level, the strategy won't enter into a position during this period. You can also decide if you want to enter into a position only when the volatility is picking up or when the volatility is slowing down. If the volatility is picking up, the ATR value will be above the moving average and when it's slowing down, it will be under the moving average. Now let me show you how you can set up this exact same filter that I just set up here. First of all, if you want to allow the ATR limiter, tick the use ATR limiter box. Then set up the ATR length. In our case, it is a 14 length. Set up the smoothing. Set up the high boundary, which is in our case a 0 0.0008 and the low boundary, which is a 0 0.0005. Also, let's say I want to enter into positions when the volatility is picking up. To do that, go to the MA base calculation section and choose the ATR value over MA option. Also, at the MA type section, choose the moving average you want to use. In my case, it is an SMMA and set its length. In this case, I used a 7 length SMMA. Click OK. And after a script is loaded, let's see where are our entries at. For example, here you can see we get a valid long entry. We get a super trend long signal. The ATR value is above the moving average, which is correct. And the ATR level is between the low limit and the high limit. So this is a correct position. On the other hand, here you can see that the strategy did not enter into a long position on this buy signal. And that's because the ATR level was under the moving average and I only allowed entries when the ATR is above the moving average. Simple as that. Now you know how to use this ATR limiter, so let's move on. The next section is the WADATAR filter. This WADATAR filter is the exact same what we used in our latest premium script, the Dead Zone script. Let me add the Vadatar indicator to the chart and explain you how this works. Type in Vadatar and click on the Vadatar explosion V2. Here you can see bars and two different lines. This orange line is called the explosion line and the blue dotted line is the dead zone line. The Vadatar indicator basically measures the momentum and the volatility of the given asset. For example, here you can see two big dark green bars. This means that the volatility was big in this section and we had a very bullish momentum. And if we look at the chart, you can see that's exactly the case. With the filter that we have in this script, you can limit how these bars should look like. Let's say I only want to allow trades when the explosion line is above the dead zone line, which signals a growing volatility and momentum. To do that, open up the explosion slash dead zone relation and click on the explosion over dead zone option. This way, here we won't get an entry, as the explosion line was under the dead zone line. But here we do get an entry, because the orange line was above the dead zone line. You can also limit what color the bars should be. If you only want to allow strong trends, that will mean that the long entries are only allowed when we have dark green bars. Similarly, short entries are only allowed when we have dark red bars. If you use soft trends, that allows long entries when we have light green bars and short entries when we have orange bars. The old trends allows both of the colors, so a long entry is valid if we have some kind of green bar and the short is allowed if we have a red or an orange bar. And the not specified is what it says. It allows all entries at all times. You can also limit the Wadatar bar's height in this section. You can either choose to not specify or over explosion and dead zone line. That means that only the bars that are over both of the lines can be valid long entries. So during these bars there wouldn't have been any entry, but here entries are allowed. And just under that you have all the other Wadatar settings, just like at the original indicator. There are only two filters left, so stay with me. You also have a trend filter, which is basically a moving average trend filter. 
For example, if you only want to allow long entries if the price is above the 200 length EMA and shorts when the price is under it, you can set up right there. If you want to do that, take the Use Long Trend Filter option and the Use Short Trend Filter option, choose EMA, choose the source you would like, and set the MA length to 200. And as you can see, long entries are only taken above the moving average and short entries below the moving average. Simple as that. And the last filter is a very basic volume filter. To visualize that, let me add the volume to the chart and the moving average. I grab the moving average and drag it on the volume and change its source to volume. Let's say I want to use a 20 length moving average. This filter is designed to only allow entries if the volume is growing or higher than average. If you only want to allow trades if the volume is above the volume based DMA, you can do that right here. To use this filter, tick the box next to it, set the moving average you are using, in this case for me it's an EMA, and the length you are using. For me it's a 20 length. Now entries are only allowed if the volume is above the 20 length volume based EMA. For example here. Let's see if that's the case. Here we get a long entry signal. And as you can see the volume was indeed above the moving average. Here a short and again the volume is above the moving average. Getting close to the bottom of the script, you can limit to show trades between the set dates. Next you have a session limiter, which is a simple limiter to only allow trades in specific sessions. If you want to use this, click on the use session limiter and tick those sessions when you allow positions to be opened. The last option is the trading time limiter. Here you can limit on which days you want to allow trades. If you want to allow all the 7 days, you have to type in from 1 to 7 and tick the limit trading time box. If you for example don't want to allow trades on Mondays, you have to take out the 2, which represents Monday. And now on Mondays there will be no trading. And here you can set up even more specifically between which hours you want to allow trades. For example, if I want to allow trades early in the morning, let's say from 6 to 8 am, I set the start value to 6 and the end value to 8. Define on what days I want to allow trading. This setup is from Monday till Friday and tick these boxes to enable it. Now let's see when we get a trade. Here is a trade for example and as you can see the signal was given at 7.45 so just before 8 am. You can set up two other valid trading hours if you want to right here. And with that now you know how the ATR got strategy works. The optimization I'm about to share with you only uses the ATR indicator and volume. With this optimization I specifically wanted to demonstrate the power of the ATR indicator. Of course, if you want to optimize further, feel free to modify the other filters included in this script. I'm sure that you can create even better strategies. This optimization is made for the EURUSD 15 minute chart. Now let me guide you through the process of connecting the ATR.TradingView script to MetaTrader using PineConnector. Keep in mind that only the ATR gut has the built-in user-friendly Pi connector integration, but if you are one of our Smart Trader tier members on Patreon, you can also connect all of our premium scripts to MetaTrader too. The process is slightly different, but don't worry, I've included a tutorial link in the description. For the ATR gut script, you can also find a step-by-step -step tutorial on our site, which is also linked in the description. And now, let's get started. First, ensure that you are using a compatible operating system, which are the following. Then you will need to register with Pine Connector, and I provided the link in the description. Once registered, log in and click on the Members Portal button in the top right corner. Next, click on the MT5 button and download the Pine Connector EA file, which you will need in the following steps. Also, save your pre assigned license ID for later use. If you don't have MetaTrader 5 installed, you can find the download link in the description. Install it according to your operating system or follow your broker's instructions. Once MetaTrader 5 is installed, open the program and click on File, then select Open Data Folder. In the Data Folder, navigate to MQL5, then open the Experts folder and paste the Pine Connector EA file that you downloaded earlier. At the top of MetaTrader 5, click on Tools, then Options. 
then click Expert Advisor and tick Allow DLL Imports. Finally click OK. Also, make sure the Algo Trading button on the top of the screen is green, indicating it's enabled. Now open the Navigator by pressing Ctrl plus N, then right click on the Expert Advisors and click Refresh to update the list. Keep in mind that the chart symbol has to be the same as the one you are using on TradingView, otherwise the strategy won't work. If you place the Pine Connector EA file in the correct folder, it should appear in the list. Now right click on the Pine Connector MT5 EA and click Attach to Chart. This window should pop up with several tabs. Under the Common tab, tick the Allow All Go Trading option. In the Dependencies tab, tick Allow DLL Imports. And in the Inputs tab, enter your Pine Connector License ID, which you saved earlier. Finally, click OK to confirm. Now, an essential note, Pine Connector only receives entry and exit signals from TradingView, so you need to set up position sizing within MetaTrader. In the input tab of the Pine Connector EA window, you will find the Volume Type option, which basically determines the position sizing. On our website, you can find step-by-step -step instructions for various position sizing methods. Choose the one that suits your trading style and enter the corresponding value. Now I will explain how to set up the same position sizing as we use on TradingView with the ATR God script. To do that, set the volume type resection to percentage of balance margin. Also, set the resection to whatever risk you want to use. If you want to enter into every position with 1% of your total balance, type 1 here. For 2% of balance per position, set it to 2, and so on. Here you can see an example of the position sizing methods we tested. Save it to yourself for future reference. If you are all set, click OK and you should see the following screen with the successfully connected to Pine Connector servers text. OK, now MetaTrader is connected to Pine Connector, but TradingView isn't yet. So let's set that up too. Open TradingView and add the ATR strategy to the desired chart. Open the script settings, scroll down, and on the bottom you will find the Pine Connector section. Check the box that says Use Pine Connector Automation. Enter your license ID which you obtained from the Pine Connector website. Set the trading volume or risk to match what you entered into Pine Connector EA in MetaTrader. Basically by default TradingView overrides the volume settings in MetaTrader, but to be safe, make sure both values are the same. Now click on the alert icon at the top right corner on TradingView and then click on Create Alert. For condition, select the ATR GUT strategy, then you can add the name to the alert. For the message, set the following. Finally, switch to the Notifications tab, tick Webhook URL, and set the following text. Finally, click Create to finalize the alert setup. Congratulations, you've successfully connected the ATR GUT strategy to MetaTrader using Pine Connector. For the detailed step-by-step -step guide and other useful links, check the description below. I hope this solution is a helpful tool for everyone who wants to use or scripts on MetaTrader. If you are using MetaTrader, we would love to hear about your experiences with Pine Connector. Also, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comment section. And that wraps up today's video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. If you want to support us in bringing you many more high quality content and research week by week, consider supporting us on Patreon. And with that, I wish you all the smart trades, have an amazing day and see you in the next video.